let's jump into it. And this is, like I say, Agrophobia from Sheepdog. And um be interesting to say, um, interesting to see how difficult this one is. Just want to say Happy New Year, even though it's the 15th. Can't stay for the stream right now, but maybe I'll have to come along later. No worries. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. That's, um, that's what I care about the most. Just people dropping in, saying hi. It's all good. Uh, no puzzles. Okay, no puzzles. Just aesthetics. Twilight and B mod. Uh, I'm not going to read any spoilers. Uh, all right, so we just got an aesthetically pleasing map to start us off with tonight, which is uh, pretty good. And obviously, we need to keep in mind that this is purely made in B mod. Like, geez, this is looking good. Yeah, it does look pretty good, doesn't it? That's just death down there. Why do I keep getting turned around? How do I keep getting turned around? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, nice, like, little bits of um, like the fog and everything. Just adds that extra like, layer of stuff to the, uh, the sheer size of things. You know what? I honestly thought that was... What is that? Is that, like, the bottom... Of a laser field? What is that? Or is it a disabled paint fizzler? Ah. I'm not really sure what that is, but it's quite interesting. I honestly thought that they were like, for a start, when I saw like the ones going horizontally, I thought that they were um, the turret sites going across. Maybe they're those fields, possibly. It's giving the same effect here, isn't it? Like this red, that red line through the panel. It's uh, a little sneak peek. Alright, so it is a laser field. Yeah. It is a laser field. And that's one of the other ones. But yeah. This is uh, pretty nice. Pretty aesthetically pleasing. The sort of thing that um, I get particularly jealous of a lot of the time because... I would love to make a map that looks good, and I just don't feel like I've got like the creativeness inside of me to be able to create anything that looks half decent a lot of the time. So, um, oh yeah, no, that's uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Well, don't fear because we do have a sheepdog map right on the back of this, and this one is called Radical. Hopefully, this is a puzzle. Um, two out of ten. Jeez, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. And the next post is my second competition hosted on my Discord. Latest by Mr. Fab. This is the first time I did this architecture for a puzzle and the detail work no longer holds up. Um, some of my later work better cap captures the grand feel I want. In case you're interested, my inspiration in this is Lauren, Laurentine, Laurentine, Lauren, Laurentian Library. Sorry, my pronunciation is crap. Um, and I'm not even going to try and butcher those names because uh, I've already made a big enough fool of it trying to pronounce those little bits and pieces. But without further ado, let's jump into this. Right. So we have a polarity switching funnel. We can get into the funnel over here. But other than that, we can't really do a lot with that at the moment. So, we'll go over here. There's a light bridge I see that we can use. We need... Ever get that sinking feeling? What's going on, Nathan? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. I've never seen like that before, ever. A pit of water like that. All right, so as I was uh, saying before, I was rudely interrupted. We've got a laser here, which activates our cube, which is over the water. So we need to be able to trigger that laser while we're stood here. Which is interesting. We have a light bridge, which takes us across to this side. Very small water indeed. Um, okay. Interesting panel. Okay, so we have this. 
Yo, Mika's here. What's going on, Mika? How you diddling, my friend? Well. And we're going to turn laser stuff off. Alright, so. Do I just disable? Yeah, okay, so I just disabled that. Interesting. Well, I don't think I can go up these sides here, though, can I? I think they're going to be too steep for me to traverse. Mystical Ace is here as well. What's going on, Ace? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. We'll get to this point. We can't traverse up here. So we're going to have to go backwards, right? All right, so let's do this again and see if we can't put ourselves in a bit of a better position. I'm good, thank you, Mika. Thank you for asking. But this one here, that one's too low, but we could actually do that, right? Okay, so as long as that laser intersects there, it's going to keep respawning itself, which is fine. So, what we're going to want here is we're going to want to drop down to here, I think. And we're going to take the funnel. stand here though well I completely got turned around there for somehow all right let me reload the save because that's where we're you doing good ace um put your stream on some background noise no worries that potentially wasn't a greatest of save spots let's be honest let's create a new one right here okay so we do this we are going to drop to here. Take the funnel. Over here. Death. My goodness, I need to turn turn on my brain. My brain is not engaged. Please, Louise. Alright, we're shooting the blue pole. Okay. I have a cube. So what we're going to do is, I believe, from there, portal on there, cube goes through the funnel and it will intersect that and it will open the door for us at some point. Right. Okay, so let's take the cube with us for a start. Back to the top. First of all. First of all, we're going to want to activate this, aren't we? Oh, you know what? Actually, we could do this. I probably want to clear... Is it possible to clear my portals? Probably not. Okay, so...
if we do this instead... Push myself across there. I'm trying to think how I could... How I can work with this. So the only portal surface I can see is over here, right? And I'm going to need to push myself over to there. Okay, so if that's the case, we'll drop down to here. Now armed with cube. the wrong move. I really need to shoot like my orange and blues the right way around. To avoid the confusion, but I hope. Some uh Interesting geometry there. We've got a, like a laser fizzler there as well, so we don't want to don't really want to do anything else there. Let's just explore a little bit more. I'm going to create a safe spot here. We can come back to this spot easily enough. Oh, that is death. That is death on so many levels. Just sort of looked like there was um, looked like there was a level at the top where I could actually stand in. So what I need to do. I need to open this. I need to get through here. And the only way to do that is for me to stand on here. Now... Problem with that is... Open this fizzler... Yeah, okay. No, it's not a problem. Okay, so we need to use... This. This is what this is for. So now we can go over here. Yo, it's Mr. Fab. What's going on, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we do this. Okay. I'm thinking... Is there a way for me to place a portal on there? Yes, we are. We looked at one. Uh, we looked at this. Actually, the second one. We oh, there we go. What a portal there. Okay. We looked at one for a start, which was uh, just like a like a visual aesthetic map. And now we moved on to an actual puzzle. Hopefully. Okay. So this one comes through here. Now. I'm going to need this cube down here. I 
That may have just like messed everything up. Oh, we can grab it like this, it's fine. Uh, that's a yikes. That's a yikes. That's a yikes. Okay. What if we do it a different way? So we'll do portal, portal, pull down. Turn off the button. Take the cube. Okay. Next, we're going to want to, I think... Because ultimately we need the laser. So I think um, Paul keeps updating, and I don't remember to replace like the custom textures folder and stuff. So. Yeah, I'm kind of being a bit forgetful. I need to get around to uh, replacing it, if I'm honest. Oh, hold on. Let's imagine I didn't just do that, and instead I did this. And then I placed this... Here. Actually, let me do this. Let me try this. Changed a lot since you play tested it, Mr. Fab. Oh, okay. Um, let's imagine I didn't just do that because we be very careful how we do this. So we need to think about how we're going to line this up. If I drop that there. It needs to come through this portal in the right orientation, doesn't it? That is the right orientation, I think. Hey, we did it. All right, I'll give... Um, give Sheepdog uh, the due on that one. That probably was a 2 out of 10. Neat puzzle, though. Real neat puzzle. It's a bit of um, portal management needed to uh, know how to sort of get around the, uh, the obstacles. Welcome, gentlemen, to the Aperture Hollow Science Jungle. Tramps, hillbillies, drifter. Also, short intermission. What do you think of the ducks? The ducks. Quack, quack. Uh, new addition. My wife didn't have anywhere to put them. A friend of hers, friend of hers, um, gave her the ducks, and she didn't have anywhere else to put them. So she decides, you know what? They're going to go in your office. All right. This is Nemesis by Steamstream. With time comes hardship. With hardship comes perseverance. With perseverance comes success. Yet now you're in it together, whether you like it or not. Medium to hard. What started out as, a, as just a rudimentary map I had shared with a friend func uh, fruitioned into a fully fledged, elegant little map through hard work on both our ends, which now marks my first official collab map. Congratulations. 
We hope you enjoy this map as much as we both enjoyed working on this together. As usual, there are no tight angles or timings. Please do not cube throw or try any try to perform any unreliable or risky maneuvers as most are difficult to perform, though not entirely impossible. You're only cheating yourself of the, of the puzzle by doing so. Only cheating yourself of the puzzle by doing so. All right. Medium hard is the official ranking on this one. Sounds a bit yikes. We shall see. Let's go out this way, I think. All right. How many cubes are we dealing with here? Just the one. Just the solitary cube to use here. This one's Sheepdog's competition. Nice. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Alright. So is the funnel just for getting over here then? That's interesting. that be the case? Right, so redirect this over here. Not really sure why I wanted to Ah so There is a way back to getting this Excellent So that the cube is just not in vain. Okay. So now we got a cube. So maybe what I should have done, actually. Let's repurpose this. Why that turned off awesome when I turned off laser collision previously. Ah, okay, I can't do that. Can't do it. I would need to have oh, does this keep all a respawn? Let's check. It does. Well okay then. So that make things that make things. To make things a little something something. All right, we're gonna have to do a little bit of jiggery puff here. So I'll have that one there. Get around to that hydrate in a minute, Nathan. Thank you very much. Let's go sit there. Because we're going to want to push this off. Oh, it's not as clear cut as I thought, though, is it? Because once we can push this off, we're going to go so far before it hits this glass wall. So that's interesting. No problem about uh, drinking coffee at this time of day. Coffee don't last too long. Because it's pretty cold in my office. And uh, this time of day, this time of year. And uh, it certainly cools the coffee down a little bit too quickly. Okay. Instead. Oh, no, because I need. Mm, mm, hmm.
I only drink coffee this time of day when I'm streaming. It's coming to a bit of a streaming thing. I wonder if I could take this round the other side. The portal surfaces do I have access to at the moment? And the answer is none. Just wondered if I could set the view up here to point over there. But the problem with that would be I wouldn't be able to get back, back through. I wouldn't be able to get back past the Fizzler. That's my exit criteria, okay. So there's not really a lot of elements to the map. Um, in effect, we open this up. Once we have that opened up, we can set a. We could set a permanent laser across to there, without using the cube. So we would do. Send that across onto the button. Open this fizzler. Put a portal there. And go through there, portal there to send us across to here. We could then... Oh, hold on a minute. I'm... Yeah, okay. I think I, I think I might see what I need to do here. Right, let me... Get rid of my portals again. Right, so yellow portal there. And we're going to go across here. Um, what I've actually done is I should ride this platform back over to this side. That's what I need to do. So I'll shoot a portal there, portal there. Okay. Here we save. So now what I can do is I can respawn this cube. This then goes across here, opens up this fizzler. Okay. I think I'm going to need to do this one. I'm trying to think about cube retrieval here. How do we retrieve the cube? We have limited portal surfaces available. And what we need to make note of as well is that if we was to laser with these two portal surfaces here right across and get into the funnel, there's too big a gap there to get across. So... Why does that keep undoing itself? I have no idea. Um, See that from there. Either. All right, so let's let's um, I'm pretty sure this will just mess everything up. I wasn't even on the track platform. Whoops. You see, that's the problem. That's the problem. Oh, 
most like much like we need to respawn the cube with the button, but that still wouldn't help with it. So let's restart. So what if we was to place a Paul Hicks? Surely if we've done if we got the button onto there, the next move would be to place the portal on one of two positions. But from this position, unless we can get into the funnel, it's interesting as well, almost like I've got to put the cube up here from down here. Um, yeah, there's no way here. I need to get across to here, is there? So maybe... Um, Maybe, just maybe, the move there. Ron Sands, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. Welcome along to the channel. to get that at all. Alright, so what, what else can we do then? Because it would seem like what we're doing at the moment isn't right. So we could come over here potentially. We could activate the platform. That doesn't really do much for me. Have I seen the Unreal Chamber? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. Really sure we played that a few years ago. If it's the one I'm thinking of. Been around for some time, right? Yeah. All right, so I don't think I've done things in the right sequence here. What I'm interested about, though, is... I'm just going to check something from over here. We were stood here. No, we can't see that from here. Okay, that's interesting. I wanted to see if we could see that from there. Because I wondered if we could get maybe a portal here and come through the, um, the funnel. There whether or not we'd be able to see that panel there, but we cannot, so that's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I think I've heard of those. Also, all right. Well, I think what we've done here is wrong. So, unfortunately, we are going to start again. Also, I've just realized that I made a note of that section there, and I totally forgot the fact that we'd already used that right at the start of the puzzle. Okay, so this is assuming, of course, the first bit is correct. 
gives us this. Then we can shoot that and go and get our funnel. Now, interestingly, here we could respawn the cube as a different approach. So rather than coming out the blue pole, we actually replace blue pole here. So now we can actually come down here. Okay. That doesn't help me, does it? Because the cube spawns outside of the fizzler. Bit overlooked slightly, so. You know, I like myself a good Skyfire map. I always, I always say about Skyfire's maps that um, I don't consider Skyfire to set the hardest of puzzles. Um, and sometimes the puzzles are quite linear, but I always enjoy his hammer work. All right, so that's that's a no-no. What we just did there was a no-no. Doesn't help us at all. So, here's here's a different approach. Why don't we go across here? So we go to here. Interesting. Of course, though, yeah. So, what I was considering interesting there was the fact that, um, Way of getting that into there, have I? I I thought maybe, but of course, this is what these steps here and are strategically placed. We could have um, placed the cube here. Uh, the cube done that, we could have done exactly what we just did there. A fire a uh, funnel on there to push against the button, and we would have been out. But of course, that would be too easy. Another one of those puzzles where there is very limited portal surfaces and there are very limited options, but it's not very easy to see what we need to do. When it comes to good hammer work, Mr. Clays is for me. Okay. Okay, yes, we can do this. Uh, actually, no, we can't do that because now the key's been moved. Damn. Dum dum dum. Can't see any other pole surfaces from here. I 
can drop down here. But I would need the other cube. We literally are dealing with one, two, three, four, five, six portal surfaces. That's it. Sure that is. I don't mind links in chat as long as you um, as long as you um, ask for a start. Let me on that time you just <clears throat> Yeah, I don't mind links in chat as long as we you you ask and you tell us what they are in advanced. Advanced? In advance. Sorry. Bad English. Alright, so six portal surfaces. Got two buttons and a few laser catches. We do. Yeah, that was a cool map. That was one of the that I remember playing that like back in my early portal days as well. And I think Deathwish was actually a playtester on that one. Um, and I loved like the custom elements and everything that Jose Pez put in that one. All the little sort of custom textures and details and everything. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, here's an idea. Why don't I stay on here? Temporarily. Well, isn't this what I did the first time? It may be. See, I'm intrigued. I, I'm feeling like there is a way to use this without... If we can use this laser without portals, that would help a lot. Trying to think if there's a way I could get a portal like directly opposite me here and then utilize the laser. Might not be a bad shout for an ending move actually. I could if I could somehow
we open this, it doesn't really do much other than we can shoot there, get across here. You become stuck, and we can't get up to the top. So effectively coming through there with the funnel does nothing for us. Um, we could also travel back over there. That, that. We can't... Um, this isn't enough height here, is it? No. We read save. Hopefully the save is like with the button, the cube on the button. Okay. So we have this. And... Not on the platform again, and that's going to be in the water, and we're going to die a horrible death. Okay. We're here. Did I try this before? How do you remember? Should have actually shot that ball there instead. Ah, okay, so this is something I could do. Okay, maybe this is the right thing to do. I could aim this to here, as long as it's in front of the actual ball surface, of course. Aim that to there. Still not in the right position. Okay, aim that there. Then, hopefully, I think, I uh, will create a safe spot here because I'm pretty confident. Excellent. I think it was probably just around the time where we, we was like really struggling with stuff. Weaker and um, I was like, yeah, I need to take a break kind of thing. Okay, we've done this. We've done this. I'm assuming next we want to get the cube back. Now we have the ability to walk over here. Which is fine. Put that there. This is a bit like what I wanted to try and do before, isn't it? Not one that I wanted to do. What I was trying to explain that I wanted to do. Place that there. Difference here is we're now behind this funnel here. So let's reset to when we had this. We can open this here. Ideally, this is where this would want to be open. Um, 
so that we can rotate that round. This is the problem. We're limited to how we move this cube, aren't we? Because ideally, whilst we've got through here and done this, we now want to rotate that cube to point to there. But we need to keep that there, and we also need to get out here. I almost think... just reload the save again. I need just to think this through a little bit more carefully. So we've got this. Oh, that's, but what's going on, buddy? Long time no see. Hope you're well. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Happy New Year. Hope you're doing well. And yes, I got a... Um, uh, last quarter of last year, I got a sit-stand desk. And um, I tend to stream a lot of the time now from a uh, standing position. So, um, yeah, I am standing in front of my computer. But I hope you're well, buddy. Hope you're well. Good to see you. Okay, so what I could actually do different here, this, yeah, okay, 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 yes, 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 okay, don't worry about that now for the moment, what I could do here, I can do that, And then what we do here is we hopefully we do that. So what this is going to allow me to do, I hope, let's just try. Well, that opens that up. Maybe I should have rode the thingy back as well. No worries, buddy. No worries. Everybody has their own life and uh, bits and pieces to take care of. So uh, it's not a problem at all. Just good to see you again. So I hope you're doing. Hope you're doing well. I hope the new year is treating you well so far. me thank you very much buddy we missed you too good to have you back on the channel dude 
so I don't think this this doesn't help, does it? Because this is the same situation we had before. We've just set it up in a in a bit of a different manner. So yeah, I don't think that's going to help matters. Would make sense though that we have to bring the cube over here and push it up the funnel because we've got obviously this gap in the uh, in the glass here. So it makes sense that we push it off into the water. Maybe, maybe I'm overthinking this. What if, no, I was going to say, what if instead I went through there and pointed the laser through there. But the issue is that's the laser surface. I was thinking if we could point that over to there, we could ride it back over. Shoot to there on the funnel, push ourselves through there, open up this fizzler, and then while we're... That's doesn't work. It still doesn't work. The cube has to be here. The cube has to be situated here somewhere. When we do that final move. So... Maybe what we're looking to do. All right, how are we going to do that then? Yeah, the cube has to be here because I was thinking I could push myself onto the button, stay on the button, and then push the cube across. However, the minute I shoot the funnel onto there, I'll see I'm going to fall down. This fizz is going to turn on and it's going to fizzle the cube. So the cube has to be here. So the question is, how do I get the cube out here to be able to set any of that up? Are we able to start set start even setting any of that up. That, as we like to say on the channel, is the sixty-four million dollar pound question. I'm a sucker for hard puzzles. It's a lot of my problem. This, see, see this, see this like receding hairline right here, right here. Got a, go on the other side, right there as well. That's all. That's all. Paul caused by Paul. All Paul related. Okay, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. I've got an idea. It just popped in my head. I've got an idea. I'm singing songs from kids. TV shows now. Dear Lord, help me. Okay. Here's my idea. Who was going about this wrong? Well, 
Though honestly, I don't know how that's any different to what we were doing before. Maybe we do it from there instead. Okay. <laughs> that means there's hope for me yet. Alright, let me just try something real quickly. Um, hypothetically. I had this set up and I had a portal on here and the cube was in here as well. Can I see this portal surface from here? Okay, I can. So I think what I'm going to do, I need to do is that, that, point this over here like this, wait for it to pass, take it back, drop down here. Change that one to there, so we don't get an interfering portal surface. That one goes to there. Then we can go back over to here. And line these cubes up. But yeah, effectively what we do is we do that, ride this across here, and then we get into a problem like this. Exit door opens and we escape. Okay. So we need to simply um, we need to simply what? Yes, okay, so I think what we do is we get this, we take this, we turn off laser collision. We go out. Excuse me. Uh, I do love hard puzzles, although um, I'll be honest, when you get like a few on the bounce, it can be extremely difficult to kind of like feel motivated sometimes to do the hard puzzles, but no, I do love hard puzzles. I'm a connoisseur of hard puzzles. That and I'm bloody stubborn. And I won't give up until I solve a hard puzzle. <laughs> okay. So from here, I do this, I do this. Oh, I didn't move the cube. Uh, um, we we don't speak we don't speak about that. <laughs> we don't speak about maps by certain people. That's one of them. I've solved a fair few of them in my time, but um, if I'm honest, I don't agree with some of things that are in the maps. Okay. We do that. Wait for this to drop down here. We speed across here at the speed of sound. Right, now. Push. Push. Follow through. Boom, boom. Send that through here. Just a little bit. Just enough. Jump down here. This is what I like about hard puzzles. For me, th this is like what hard puzzles are, right? I can sit here I can theorize about what I need to do without really knowing what I need to do definitely. Like, 
without like 100% knowing what I need to do. Then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you get like a little hit of inspiration. It leads you on a path. Which you eventually just start like unwinding the puzzle. And, um... Thanks, Mika. And, uh, yeah, that's what I love about hard puzzles. You can be sat here for, like, an hour, an hour and a half, however long you sat there and you are stumped. And I think it was the same with Catalyst on um, Tuesday night when we played Catalyst. I was, like, at my wit's end. I think I've been sat there for, like, between an hour, an hour and a half. Haven't really made any progress. And all of a sudden, I, there was just something. Something, I saw something. And from that, I was managed to unwind the whole rest of the puzzle. And it's those moments that I really love about hard puzzles. And that's what sort of drives me to continue playing them hard puzzles. But that was fantastic map. I really loved that. So it was a tiny map, but the solution was very well hidden. And um, yeah, if that won a Sheepdogs competition, a very worthy winner indeed. I thumbs that one up. All right, next up we have got Forge from Asias 16. Well, there's people out there that'll do it because fame is everything to some people. Um, and easy difficulty for the puzzle has been quite some time since my last puzzle release, hasn't it? The puzzle is simple, but has clean logic and is a good warm up for me as I get back into mapping. Special thanks to TF Blazers and advice and feedback. The music is from Rexora, composed by Ben Bryant, a.k.a. Mevious. As always, feedback is appreciated. If you think you found any exploits or any solutions, please let me know, and I will fix them ASAP. You did the same at the... Li at, you did the same at Olivia Battle Puzzle. Yeah, it's... I don't know, there's just something, like, so satisfying about when you've been stuck on a puzzle, and then it just clicks, and it just works. Pull ourselves across there. Is that going to keep spawn respawning? It is fantastic. So let's pull ourselves over here. And away we go. Oh, please. Thank you very much. Okay, so what else we've got here? Let's come out and activate the flip panel. Really sure what that will do for us at the moment. So let's go and take this over here for now. Okay, so the issue here, of course, is we're going to do this. And now we can't get back over to the other side. So, it would seem like we potentially need to use the funnel to bring that cube across. So, if we switch to that, do this, then the cube on its merry way. And we get up to there. So, what is next? Well, we're going to need to push ourselves through there. Now I wonder. Let's do this, come out there. Hopefully we can see... I don't like that setup. Let's do this instead. So I got the portals right. So hopefully we see the blue portal. Which pushes over to here. And hopefully, we can land on this surface here. Fantastic. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. So then, we are going to push that to there. That to there. Swap that with that. Push this up to here. Hope nothing gets fizzled in the meantime, and we are done.
I was giving up on hard puzzles, even if so, I'm fascinated by those, believe they're not going to have the mindset involved. Yeah. You don't have the mindset. That's, that's fair enough, you know, not everybody has the utmost patience. Um, I, was tell I was having this conversation with um, Bethwish, actually, a few weeks ago, and I was saying, like, how, for me, as a parent, I find playing games with my son a very frustrating experience because I am a patient person and I will sit there and sit there and sit there and try and try and try and try something over and over again until I can work it out. Whereas my son is very much a person that he has to do things first time. And if he does not do something first time, he gets frustrated and like he kind of like gets mad and he's like throwing things around and gets angry. And it's like, for me, I try and get over to him. You know, you can't be perfect all the time. And, you know, good good things come if you can have that patience. Um, but, yeah, it's for me, it's a frustrating experience because I can't. Uh, it's not about me pushing myself and my beliefs and impressions onto him, but it's that he can't see my way of thinking. Um but maybe that's a flaw in me that I can't accept him for the way he is. Whereas I would sit there and just keep going over and over and over and over and over again to like work it out and, and get to the end. Um, you know, I, I get frustrated with him because he doesn't do it the way I would do it. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me that has a problem. Uh, holders, what's going on? Welcome. Welcome. Hope you're well. Welcome along to the channel. First time viewer. All right. Next up, we have got, no portal from Nintendo. Oh, there is no portal gun in this map. That's the title. Um, let's have a look to see what we've got here. No portal. Portals are useless thanks to Tigron for his awesome light strip model. All right. Oh, this layout looks semi familiar. This is interesting. I remember like a, a laser puzzle from Nintendo Work, which was in a okay, which was in like a three by three cube room. So I got vibes of that straight off the bat there. Anyway, okay, so. I don't know if we need to, but the obvious thing that jumps out of me straight away is like doing a cube swap. So we have that, we have that. That's just going to allow us to bring cubes through though, isn't it? This is activated by that, so we're going to need to bring a cube through to here. Um, so that deactivates that. This laser is hand gated. This needs power for that to be able to get to that cube. So, conundrum number one. Needs more Pepsi. Um, other soft drinks are available, of course. Okay, so what if I put this here, 
and then respawn this cube. Then we go to there. Now we are bootstrapped, but I think we should have probably s we should have stick sticked. We should have stuck with the cubes in the um, alternate configuration here. Then we could respawn the other cube and we'd be golden. So do that. Should we do that and that? The map that introduced you to work. Nice. I, I really like Eric's work. Um, of course, I was. Um, I was. Well, I was saying I'm not anymore, but I was. Uh, I am. Um, I, uh, a part of the destroyed aperture development group, and uh, not as involved as I was. But Eric's. Um, all I'll say is you, you got some. Got some treats coming with that when it finally when we finally get it uh, dropped, launched. Okay, so now we're going to do. We need to take more cubes through, aren't we? This one. That is that one. That is that one. Take this one. And do this. Uh, we're still not ready for. We're still not ready for release. I'm working extremely hard on the final thing, but uh, yeah, there is still a ton of work and the whole pandemic and everything is kind of. Everybody's been a bit everywhere, unfortunately. Oh, I messed up. I shouldn't use that cube. Alright. This one goes yeah. That's the one that we can respawn from that side. So basically the premise of this map is get the cubes over to this side. Once you've got cubes over this side, you do that, you do this. You power that elevator, you respawn this cube. And then you... Oh, yikes. Um, that was an oversight. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Because... I was thinking, how do I get back up here to put another cube? I don't need to. I can point that one at the laser receptor. Please catch her. And then we just rotate this one to hit that. I said we rotate that one to hit that. Oh, Urk. Urk, 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 Urk. Urk. Why'd you do this to me, man? Okay, what we can do, we can do this another way. We can do this another way. So we can do this. Then we can aim this back over here. Oh, you know what I should have done? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. That's the last key we place. It's simple. Chingers. Yeah, that was my dumb mistake. This one then just points over to... Yeah. Hopefully. And... We finish off like that. Huzzah! We are through. Full map. Cool, cool map. Always good to have like a different take on bits and pieces. 
We've got here, we've got Neurons on Reflection 27 by Enigmatic. I've played some of these before, but it's been a while. Let's have a look to see what we got. Always small rooms, few elements, but it's necessary to use neurons to solve the test. This one is a little more difficult. Greg's telling me the right. number of possible alternate universes is literally infinite. Maybe there's one where, I don't know, the Greeks won World War II. Yeah, just uh, uh, getting a, uh, a test, test ready for you. Too many voice lines. Alrighty then. Did I not fire a portal there? Thank you. Okay, so this reverses the polarity. Is it on a timer? No, it looks like it's on a toggle. Interesting. Excuse me. So, we toggle that. So this one stops us. We now pull ourselves across to here. And we like the cube. Yeah, lots of pretty colours. The one of every fizzler apart from the um the only one that's not here is the absolute fizzler from the um, on off concept. Anywho, um, was it all on green? I can't remember what the rule is for the green ones. Alright, so let's go through here. Back to here. Now we want to switch the funnel, I think. And I can bring the cube over here. Sure, exactly what that does for me. Oh no, can't I? Yeah, no, no, that's right. That's right. Okay, so we're going to push the cube over here, I believe. If I remember rightly, this only blocks the player, right? Now I'm going to go and swap these again. Press that because I'm really want to walk all the way back again. And I'm going to do that, that, pull myself across here. Now, if I'm right, I should be able to pull this cube over here. I'm not right. What does that do anyway? That dis moon moon moon. Where is moon? Ah, moon is that one. Hmm. 
I'm lazy, so press. Take a look, and I'm going to lose portals here. But let's take a look. Yeah, so I can see that from there, but that's not open. Is it? So the thing I need to do is I need to get the cube over to this side. Now that may be a bit more of a challenge. No worries, Mr. Fab. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Dream takeover. Um, I can't remember why I should set that one as. I don't know if it's the. So it's basically where um, you can request a game and uh, we will stream that game subject to being available and getting our hands on it sort of thing. See it from there. I need to push the cube over here. Basically, is what I need to do. Push the cube over here, then I can aim that there, then I can walk through here. Now, if I can't do that via normal means, I'm going to have to do it with the funnel. So, let's undo what we've already done. This is going to face this way. Now we're going to reset this again. I would if I could... Oh, my hotkey's working. Okay. Mika's dedicated to the airboat cause. Alright, so now I need to... I'm going to save here because I have a feeling I may mess this up a few times, but... Yeah, you see, that's... That's a little yikes. That's a little yikes. Doesn't sit very well on me, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't sit very well on the uh, grating. It kind of like. I 
doesn't sit well on the grating at all, does it? I just wanted it to kind of like sit on there and point over here. Because if it pointed over here, I could then go back over to this side and fire the portal here and there. And that would open up. So you can see that from here. You can see it. Yeah, I just can't execute it. Um... So I can easily follow the queue, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. What's going on in deferential? How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well. I don't get like the timing down on this one at all. And you put your own map as the FPF reward. I mean, well, the, the reward states it's um, any map you want, but I mean... You really want it to be... Uh, FPF. Hold on a Why didn't I just do this? Is there a reason I'm not doing that? Yeah, I know, it's you. Um, no, I haven't seen him for a while. I haven't seen Doctress for a while. Doctor. Hope he's well. Hope he's doing all right. But that college work isn't um, getting him too down. I know he said he's been struggling with his college work a little bit. All right, let's. How you doing, Doctress? Hope you're well, buddy. Welcome, welcome. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confused right now with this. I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, we can do that, but we can't get over to the other side. I'm oh, sorry to hear you're uh, sorry to hear you're testing positive, man. The problem is, though, I don't have the blue funnel at that point. 
can only get over to here with the orange funnel. That's my sticking point. Alright, so put the cube there, yeah, and then we'll go to here. And we do that, okay, it's all good, it's all good. Uh, so the issue is... I can't see this. I can't, from, from over here, I need to get over here. I can get up to the top. Um, and maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a way. Hold on, hold on. Uh, drag myself across with the funnel. Then go through here. Then going to bolt here. Then from here go up to here. Switch the funnel. And now from here, I can see... I still have the funnel. So I would need to be in the funnel there. Right? Paul here. Oh, hold on. Um, okay, so we're keeping this here, though. I should have done that, but the, the key, if the cube was already over there, I'd be all right, wouldn't I? I haven't used a cube for anything here, so yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Okay, cube's in position. Ignore the cube. Setup for this is going to suck, so i got to do all of this over again, but... Go from here, go to here. I stop pressing V. V is my hotkey for when I'm playing co op. Not that I play co op anytime, ever. Yeah, but I still can't. Uh, I still can't push it. <laughs> Still can't push it over. Cold in here tonight. Um,
I can't push it. I can't. I think I can reach the funnel if I go through the blue fizzler. Alright, let's give that a go. I was like somehow drag myself over to here. Would that help? I can't shoot through that purple. It's purple blocks play around the portal. Um I think we have to be getting the laser though. I think we have to get the laser cube here for the simple fact of we need to open the purple fizzler for us to be able to then walk through to here. I think that's what we need to do next. This is our goal. But to keep To do that, we need a blue funnel. And we need a portal on here. So, yeah. Oh, wait a second. Um, thinking, what if, and this is just thinking out loud again. What if we instead had that? No, because we need to go through here to get back over to this side. And... Then we can't reshoot on there. It would almost be like... So yeah, that's even save on this map, I don't know.
problem lay the funnel is the problem Like, to get this to work... We need to get over there. We also need to keep the funnel. Excuse me, there is no way that I can see where we can. Um There's no way that where I see can push that cube across. Literally no way at all. Which is why I thought we would do this. We pushed the cube over here to say something like that. And then from this side, we could simply do that and walk through. And that's what I was trying to do before. Yo, money, what's going on? Yes, that is the map. That's why I was trying to push the cube through here, like so. The problem was... It was so unreliable. That seems like the only way to do this. But that's just not reliable enough. Unless... And this would be... Yo, Chad, what's going on, buddy? This would be, like, completely outrageous. If we did this... Then we did... This... We straightened this up, doing something like that. And 
Then we go back. That's it. That's it. That's the one. We don't need to do it in the middle there. That makes so much more sense. All right, big brain activated. Let's go. All right. And he took us like God knows how long to do that. Uh, all right, so then we've done that. We can do that just for the time being. So now let's see what we got over this side of the fun, fun, fun. So we need to get the cube into here. So No worries, Ace. Thanks a lot for the hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Catch you later. Okay, so from here, what I need to do is I need to reverse the funnel. That's what I need to do. Now, to do that... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play reverse. Well, not reverse one. I'm going to switch polarities of the funnel, and they're going to push it up through there. And then once it's done that, we can switch the portal to here, and we can place it onto here. I believe. So. We're going to do that. Stop yawning and do that. That, my friends, as always, is the sixty-four million dollar pound question. So even when we do this, we're still not home and dry, are we? Holders has an idea. Does it help me to get uh, to warm my nose up? Because my nose is freezing and so are my hands. In the upper funnel part? Uh, I mean up here. Or do you mean up there? Personally, I still feel like I need to get the cube over there. I think that's still an important part of the puzzle. Really to say because I may have gone too far.
Niet weg. It's the unreversing of the funnel though, that's not, not very easy to do. That's the issue. Oh, actually, hold on. Why don't I do something like... Um, this. Walk through here. Do something like that. What does that do for me? Probably not a lot. Let me catch you later, buddy. Catch you later. Thanks for hanging, buddy. Appreciate it. Catch you next week, hopefully. could shoot that. I get through here and bring the cube. Yeah, I'm not seeing an easy way to respawn the cube. Which is the issue. Let's just run through this at the minute and we'll burst the cube. Go back. Maybe, okay, maybe I'm shock horror. Maybe I'm overcomplicating. Okay, yeah, I'm overcomplicating. So then we do. Hold that there. Bring this through here. that. Now, we need to reverse the form. We need to reverse the form. He was uh, on the money, Poldus, so uh, yeah. Bang on the money. Why would I want to disable this? This doesn't make much sense to me. Why would I want this?
disable it from the other side, I can... Yes, okay. That's a good point. But yeah, how do I... Just go with this a minute because we've got to reverse the funnel. Don't have an option on that. Now we don't have a way back through here, do we? Jeez. Because to get through here, on, well, might be able to get something to work here if we ignore the fact that that's there. Because uh, we'd need the... Uh, I don't... Honestly, I don't see the point of the... Yellow Fizzler. I don't see the point of the Yellow Fizzler. Unless... We're going to do this again. But that seems... That's completely dependent on... That is completely dependent on having a pull here. That does nothing. Nothing at all. So if I disable the yellow, you're saying? I can do what? Then you can portal there from the Fizzler changing place. No, I don't think I can. Because to get up to there, I have to use two portals. So once again... Cube over there. All right. Let's let me let me stick by what I thought ages ago, which is send the cube. We're here. I can send the freaking cube. Well, I would if.
All right, we're sending this. Send it. I think I should have come here though with the... This is what we do. I shouldn't have come here with the cube though. Uh, that's fine. I can come over the cube. What am I talking about? I can come over the cube. Totally. All right. So uh, we we'll do that, and then we're going to do that. That doesn't matter where we put those because they're going to fizzle anyway. Um, this one goes here. That's the move we was missing before, isn't it? Okay. It's not over yet, though, is it? How do I funnel back the cube? Yeah. That's the kicker. Okay, so instead of doing that, what if we just do this? For a start. Let's open that up permanently. Then I'd have walked round, I would have put there, put there, walked round here. So it would be up to here with a portal on there and a portal on here. Okay. So we're here. Then from here, I do this instead. Then I can do, I think, oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Do you know what I think we needed to do? We need to get the cube into here. Uh, 
I think we need to get the cube into here. Got a stretch. Nathan requested a stretch about five minutes ago, and we uh, haven't seen it. Also, got another hydrate. Let's go and fetch myself a drink because I'm all out of drinks. So, um, okay. Got an idea. I got an idea. However, it's going to wait until after I've got a drink. So, bear with me, guys. I will be right back. All right, that's enough of that. Thanks for the hydrate, Paul. Hold us. Who is Piff the Magic Dragon? Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Step one. Step two. Step three. Now. By the way, what's going on, Atom? I see you lurking there. Okay, so now we could do that and that. Why is everybody so happy that I'm retiring? That's horrible. Hurt my feelings like that. How dare you? Um. Right. Do I need to point this at the other one? Is that what I did first? Do I point it here first? Hello, Mike. How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're well and all that jazz. Yeah, this is what we did before, is it? No, Destroyed Aperture will be free when it releases, it's, uh, it'll be a free mod. <laughs> uh, I am not, no. Oh. We could use this for lasers as well. That surface there. Okay, so maybe this is borderline right. Okay. Don't want to do that in a minute. Don't worry about that. around here, press this, and I've got a reverse funnel. We walk back. We then do this through here. We go back over here. And we then do one there. One there. there, walk through here, now we reposition the cube to here, is 
doesn't matter about being in line with that pole anymore because we're gonna be going through here. One there, one there. Now, this is where we've got to be careful. We need... ...do things and stuff before I die from hypothermia. Um, okay, tantalizingly close here. Yes, we're done. We're done. Done. Why is it so cold in my room? Because um, this room, my my office is on the back of the garage, and there's no central heating in here, and I just shot the wrong portal. So I'm an idiot. Uh, so yeah, and I've only got like an electric heater, and it's too expensive to run all the time. So I tend not to run it during night times and stuff. My god, that was, that was, yeah. That was a tough oh, one. You're alive! Great! That was tough. But I'm glad we got there. Uh, yeah, normally if, if I was sat down, I've got like blankets and stuff that I would normally kind of like be wrapped up in and keep it nice and toasty, but uh, alas, I'm not. I'm stood up tonight, as I have been a lot of the time. So, um, yeah. That's that. Anyway, uh, we have an FPF request, and that's how we will end up the stream tonight. And this is the FPF request from Indifferential. It's called One. Just One. Just One. Uh, one chance you only have. Ready to comply with the above statement will be found dissatisfactory should a, should a player manage to play this map again. It takes about two and a half minutes at the most. Um, I will just say, oh my goodness, looks a little um, looks a little parkoury. Oh, I've lost my chance. That's it. We're done. <laughs> Is that it? My chance was over. So what happens if I play again? Oh boy. Well, that's it. FPF, um, I completely agree. All right, let me see what I can do. Um, let, let me see what I can do right here. Does it have anything to do with a file called do not delete? Well, I deleted it. I have 150 seconds left. Yes. 
Stanley. Oh. Okay, you wanna... It'll be like that, I, I, I see your game. Oh my god, the light is blinding. The light is blinding. Um... Wait, what? Like... Where actually do I... Oh, okay. You want to play tricks on me, I see. Sixty seconds remaining. Did we do it? We did it. <laughs> we have forty seconds to spare. Um, what are you actually doing to my computer right now? I've just got like recurring file that's like saving over and over again on my computer. And okay, well. I'm waiting for um I'm waiting for this to go off on my computer any moment. Boom. The whole thing gets uh, destroyed. Uh yeah, but just to literally, I don't know if this is right, but it's um it's created like three files. And then obviously the one that says do not delete. And all those three files are updating based on the time. So yeah. You might want to take a look at that. You might want to take a look at that. Anyway, guys, that is going to bring us to the end for tonight's stream. Ending off there with a nice little um, front page fodder. Uh, thanks, everybody, for... Um, thanks, everybody, for tuning in, though. I really do appreciate the support this week. Uh, next week, I haven't got any plans as of what we're going to be playing. Um, we may start a brand-new Let's Play, or we will... Um, we will um, continue on with some portals. So if you want to know what we're going to be doing, make sure you stay tuned to the schedules on the channel page where I um, do keep that up to date with um, all of the streams and what we're going to be playing, et cetera, et cetera. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for hanging with me tonight. I really do appreciate it. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. As always, stay safe, take care. And until next time, happy gaming. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.